you guys have to tell me if it's too loud. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Is that loud? Or is, what no, you, you gotta tell me if the thing was too loud. I felt oh, like no. it was kind of loud. I was jamming. What you mean? Where? Yeah, I'm fine. fine. All right. Yeah. Hey, listen. I'm tripping. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not feeling great today. Why is that? I don't know. I'm just not under the weather. What? Not under the weather. I haven't been feeling great for a while, actually. I feel probably that. feel like all right. Fuck it. I'll do it. I'll put it on my head. No, no, no it's fine. No, no, please. please. You're okay, brother. Fine. Yeah, you're fine. I promise. Please. You're okay. You're looking good. You're looking good, bro. You got flex sometimes. Saying. Yeah, flex sometimes. Yeah, I bro. haven't really been feeling good for like the last week. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> I feel that. It's just yeah. It's just, it, it just hasn't been my week, man. Mm-hmm. But it's your week because a lot about nothing is out. Yes. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Yes, of course. We weren't here last week because we were all very busy. But here. we're here this week and we're bringing you stuff and content and stuff and stuff so you can subscribe, like, and uh, subscribe on YouTube. And yes, that. On the Apple Podcasts, on the Spotify's, on the SoundClouds, and all that jizz, jizz, jazz. Of course, of course. Not jizz, just jazz. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're doing there. Yeah. You're throwing us off, man. Yeah, my bad. My don't bad, don't my get bad. the patrons excited. They're Welcome gonna... back to Love About Nothing, where we talk about expensive social topics. And in the end, we try to figure out why I'm sad. Same. B- bro, same. Yeah, man. I just be sad for real. It's rough, man. Last two weeks for me. I've been in a rut. Yo, Word? honestly, yeah. the exact same time slot two weeks the last two weeks have been really heavy and uh I've been all of feeling our, a lot of so it. all of our sadness is coordinated together yeah we're like girls that sink their periods Aww. i was about to say oh my god we sank that's adorable <laughs> strong feminine energies fam nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that man very we're, powerful we're very in touch with our emotions indeed i agree yeah man no great <laughs> episode 57 um 57 right yeah okay episode yeah. 57 I wrote it down, but I'm not sure. No, that's not, what, no that's not what it is. You're good. You're good. I got okay. you. We got technology here. All right. Great, great. How you guys doing? How you guys doing, Trey? How you doing, dude? Uh, <laughs> All right. Bet, bet, bet. <laughs> bet, I'm with you. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Shit. I ain't gonna lie, man. When you, uh, when you said the sad thing, I was like, wow, you... Yeah. Uh, we just feeling I sad. I guess it's... Uh, I don't need to speak that. <laughs> But it's okay to feel like life, life's been heavy, man. Life's yeah. just been really heavy lately, you know? Yeah. And, um, would you? Time of great change. It is a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. I agree. Time of great change. For those who like tarot cards, it would not be the death card. This would be like the tower card where it's like you've built up a lot of things and it's come to an abrupt. Are change. you talking about your tarot cards again, <laughs> son? <laughs> Trey reads tarot. Yes. Actually, the whole family pretty much reads tarot. Uh, me and my mom, really. Just me and my mom. Yeah, except so for Ed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he ain't about that life. Yeah, yeah Ed is a. He's like, he's like Victus over here. He'd be like, what are you, what are you doing with your, uh, your tarots over there? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Imagine getting a tarot reading from someone who pronounces it tarot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, emphasize it. Tarot. This person's totally legit. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, oh, oh my. my name is Chris, by the way. Indeed it is. This is uh, Victor. Hello. This is Victor. Hello. And this is. Oh, Trey the Third. Trey the Third. I see. You I forgot. Third. I did for like three and a half seconds. I'm sorry. No, he thought I was going to introduce him. So looks, that's why three and a half seconds. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Thought I got it. You, you got know. it. You're right there. Yeah, and this is a lot about nothing if you never uh, listened to this podcast before. I know we sound boring. Usually I'm more energy, but like I say, we're sad right nah, now. No, man, we're humans. Like we, we go through uh, the waves of life and sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. Yeah. You know? That's facts. Vic, it's, it's one of them Vic, how, you doing? how you doing, bro? Good, man. Yeah. Well, not. Mm, no. Coasting. Yeah. Coasting. I feel that. Some bunch of shit happened. Is that like a man thing where we, we can't say how we feel for real? Because <laughs> I'll definitely. Look, I I'm said, the type that I told it you. All, all, all away. Like. I already told you, I'm in a rut, but usually when I'm in a rut, I just go into autopilot. <laughs> you flip the switch? Yeah, I just flip the switch and then <laughs> just coast through it. I agree. Yeah. I think that's um that's a thing. Like, I, that, think I mean, like, that's how I cope, at least. I, see. <laughs> I, I will say that on on similar to that, I will I will be a very external person. Like, I won't really internalize things and like i'll just be a shell of a person walking around handling the tasks that are at hand like mm. like that autopilot thing but the issue with that is like i'm not gaining any positive energies from the world anymore mm. like you know there's positives and negatives energies to gain and like when you get to that point that you're just like nah i'm just gonna be autopilot like you mm. all you all aren't able to gain the positive energy you know you're you're, you're autopilot because i autopilot because like i'm trying to shut out 
those like crappy internal feelings that I'm having. So I'm like, all right, F it. Like, let me just get to work. Let me just do what I got to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but because I do that, that would shut off or it shuts off me like seeing, feeling, and dealing with some of the positive things that are happening around. Right. Like, you know, like my cousins are visiting right now. It's great. Yeah. You know, like that dude, it, my it babies. Is, like it's so wholesome and awesome. Like when I get to talk to him, cause like that literally centers me. Except for you Edo, know. she'll charge me to look at her. Erica, hilarious, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, She's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you're looking, okay, 25 million. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> she'll charge you to wave. Dude, it's hilarious. <laughs> that mentality's gonna get like, you far. Oh you, oh, you took that air? Excellent. That's about 22,000 for each breath, fam. I'm like, I mean, you gonna make bank, though. <laughs> TBH. But, but, yeah, so, I mean, the, you know, the, the positive energies from them are really helping center me a lot of the time. Mm. And it's, yeah. Like in, in in betwixt the sadness, yeah, 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 lies the glimmers of hope and happiness. Yeah, thanks to just certain people who like are persistent about shedding that happiness. You know, mm. like that's awesome. So that's dope. Yeah. That's good, man. I wish I had a glimmer of happiness in my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Yesterday was my mom's birthday. That made me happy. Hey, happy there birthday! Happy Ooh. birthday to moms, man. Let me give a round of applause to my moms. It's yeah. my pride. Happy birthday, belated birthday, birthday to Mama Estima. Mm. <laughs> oh, Happy Toronto. birthday, moms. Relatively young still, so no big deal. Happy birthday, man. It's fine. Awesome. I gave her a Fitbit. Hey. Oh, oh we collectively put money together and got her a Fitbit. Awesome. Yeah, Fitbit versus two. Couldn't get the three. Three is a little expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got her the two. She's happy nonetheless. She don't know nothing about it. I set everything up. I told her this is how you get your steps. You can enter the phone through here. You can see notifications and stuff. And, you know, she's hype. Hopefully she's wearing it every day. Because she'll be hype, but then she won't wear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll wear it like once or twice and never wear it again. Mm -hmm. This is people, especially Haitians, are used to um are used to like their routines and stuff. Mm -hmm. So once you routines, throw a wrench in there, yeah. once you throw a habit like a wrench in their habits, it's just some things fall apart and they just yeah. go right back to what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh but I'm doing very bad things for asking guys. No um, worries, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm very sad and very disappointed in um, my life right now. I'm very unhappy with how I look. I'm very unhappy with the people in my life. Oh, sorry, just, bud. Yeah, you guys are We try, man. We try. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> Phil's character, honestly. I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm not having a good time. I'm not having a good time at all. What uh, What brought this feeling on? Indeed. Um, I just been feeling lonely for a little bit. Mm. It's feeling very lonely, very vulnerable, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. very like desperate. Mm. That's not usually who I am. Mm -mm. I like I'm a loner. I'm, I like to be a lone type of guy. But yeah, I feel like I'm just in this season where I'm like, ah, I need to be around someone, you know, who uh, someone I love like romantically. I could be around friends too, but it's never the same. I I will say, like. I know society says this thing about like friends with benefits or whatever, bro. But like, there are definitely times where like you can, like, you might find a friend who legit is like, "Hey, man, I legitimately want to just have a good time uh -huh. because I do. I just want to feel a good time right now." Well, and like, there's nothing wrong with like. I'm just saying, like, if, if you're talking, about this, I'm you, not disputing. I'm not know, disputing your point. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying that that's not really what I want. I, oh. So I'm just saying because I remember you were talking about the relationships uh, previously, and like I know that that struggle is a struggle. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> that struggle is a struggle, bro. Like I feel you. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. It, it's hard to try and like really find like this is a truly committed, excellent, like pure relationship. Yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. <laughs> I get that mentality, but like. Bro, we adults. We we yeah. we, we adults, man. Like I'm with you. We I'm got a life. You. We got things we got to focus even on. Even like besides that, I'm just I'm just not happy with who I am at the moment. You feel me? Why? It's just. Are you not happy with who you are? I don't know. I'm I'm in I'm in this like rut where I feel like there's I mean a bunch of stuff I could be doing. Mm -hmm. I mean I don't hate my job, but I don't really I don't know if that's a, I'm probably gonna leave in like a year and some change. <laughs> probably elevate, get some more money. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but it's just that I'm just feeling unfulfilled, like as a person. Mm -hmm. mm. You know I me, mean? because I okay, you know, okay. We're, I'm almost at the at the big three O. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm inching towards that. And, okay. 
I don't know why I'm thinking about it so much because it really doesn't mean anything, to be honest with you. It doesn't mean much. Things won't change that much. Actually, at all, probably. Things won't change at all, but I, I blame Ed, by the way, because he's like, oh, this is your career phase. You must he, do this. He strongly, <laughs> strongly <laughs> believes in phases. Yeah, he believes that. in phases a lot. And, uh, and every time he tells me these things, I'm like, ah, that's not me, Ed. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that type of guy. But every time I think about it, I'm just like, ah, I don't want to let Ed down. Because I love Ed, and Ed gives me great advice. Ed's a knowledgeable guy. I feel you, man. But then again, it's like, ah, no, but life I really is real, man. Life how, it's okay. Life is real, I man. I kind of want, you know? Life is real, dude. Like, not just all. The, like, the pace of life is different for everyone. Everyone. You know? No, 100%. Because okay. I, I feel like I've always lived my life. Um, like, I've always felt like, like the last to do something within like the group of people that I'm associated with. I feel like I've always been the last one, but I'm always <laughs> the more meticulous one, too. The mm-hmm. more cautious in the way that I move through mm-hmm. life. So typically I let other people do things first mm-hmm. and then I come back, come from behind. I'm like, oh, that works. Let me do that. Or that looks safer. <laughs> let me do that. <laughs> and sometimes that, that robs me of opportunities. I understand. And so I just end up like in some sort of like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some sort of like life purgatory where I don't know mm. what direction to take. Mm. Feel me? And I'm feeling that a little like bit right now. Aimlessness, almost. Yeah, yeah. Mm. A bit of aimlessness, you know. Mm. And I'm like, there's some because I see the things in my head that I want to do, but then like when I think about, y'all heard the little accent and the D. <laughs> I've listened to a lot of like English rap, stuck in my head these days. But, <laughs> but I've I've been thinking about things that I want to do, but it's just as soon as I think about them, I know they're going to take a lot of work. And as soon as I think about it, I just get really depressed. <laughs> And I'm like, ah, man, it's going to take a long time. Because, well, because... Because I know, like, the, the journey. necessary. Yeah. yeah, I know what the journey is going to take. Like, I want to work out more. But as soon as I think about working out, I'm like, ah, I'm going to do this today. I'm going to be sort of more than I got to keep doing over and mm. over and <laughs> over. And just thinking about it, it just makes, it just makes me not want to do it. <laughs> and I know the the experts tell you, take it day by day. Take it one day at a time. <laughs> hey, and I'm like, I always think this. ahead. And I fuck myself up by thinking too far into the future a lot. I yeah. try not to do it, but it's such a bad habit. Mm-hmm. And those things are difficult to break. I agree, man. Like I bit my, I bit my, I bite my uh, nails. nails. Mm-hmm. I used to do that. One it's my younger. worst habit, and I'm so ashamed of it. <laughs> I'm so ashamed of it, but it's so hard to stop. Sorry, dude. I uh, I as well do. I, work, just, uh, I, try I used to, work to do that it. when I was younger. Mm-hmm. It's it's bad, man. Anxiety is going crazy. July Fourth didn't help on um, fucking fireworks. Yeah, that was wildin'. Yeah, but you. it's fine. But yeah, I I will say July Fourth gets more and more of a peculiar holiday every year. That every I grow year, up because I like when they start discussing the history of it all, and you, like if you know the history of America, it always just is a really peculiar holiday that we still celebrate. It's always weird that we like and how we celebrate it. fireworks. It I feel really, like we want just peace and quiet. That's a really peculiar way to, to celebrate <laughs> it. It's so backwards, man. You know, Ugh, a lot of backwardsness. Yeah. But that's how I've been feeling. Um, I'm also feeling a little bad for Haiti, man. Because I want, ooh, yeah, you, I remember you I told us a bit this, about that earlier. Morning. But I wanted to ask. Yeah, about I walked into work this morning, and you know, all, all my coworkers are Haitian, and one of them was like, "Yo, you saw uh, they killed Buddy." I'm like, "Who died?" He's like, "Yo, President Haiti." I'm like, "What? Mm-hmm. President Haiti?" Died? And I looked up. Sure enough, Jovenel is dead. That's crazy, man. They pulled up on him like 1 a.m. or something like that mm-hmm. at his crib. Mm-hmm. Which is, which is weird because as a president, you would think you have tighter security, but that also leads me to believe that it might be an inside job. I don't want to speculate. The man's just died. I mean, but d- I don't know the country, but so right, I mean, right, depending, right. depending on the country, depending on how he's trying to be perceived, they may not have like security on that level, or if they did, they might have frankly light security that someone who pulls up on a crib can just get around. If 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 they're going after the president. You know, they probably had a plan. You know, so oh, if they didn't, had they, a, didn't they just pull up on Buddy with like machetes and shit? No, mm, uh, I'm pretty sure it was, uh-huh. it was guns because I think one um one report said that there was a um there were some guys uh, posing as like DEA agents, mm. like outside oh, the crib. Wow. So I'm okay. thinking like those guys kind of like let the other person let in. The, oh mm. shoot, dang, but, dude! Wow. Okay. That's yeah, but really nah, but rest in peace to that dude. Because the thing is, like, his tenure was rocky. Because when he took, 
when he took control, it wasn't. I mean, the 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 nation wasn't that great when he took control. Mm. Isn't they're still recovering from the earthquake? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The the economy was still bad. People were still super poor, and things weren't really looking up. And then his tenure was rocky as well. So then when it was almost time for him to be up, people are like, hey, yo, get the heck out of here. Mm-hmm. But the way um, the election was delayed because there was like conflicts mm-hmm. between mm-hmm. the two parties. So the election was delayed a year. And so he was supposed to be out February. Dang. But okay, he okay. insisted that he like he's he has more time. I think he's like another year, a few more months. Yeah. He insisted that he had more time and that he wasn't going to leave office. So essentially he was... Um, because of that dispute, because of the election being late, he essentially just ruling, like, just because he was still there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he, technically, he should have been gone, but a lot of people think he's it feels fine that he stayed. A lot of people didn't want him to stay, mm-hmm. and like gang violence has been going crazy. Mm-hmm. People have been very upset, and then they mm-hmm. called for him to leave. He didn't want to leave. I saw that. Wow. Um, okay. I saw a Vice um the episode about him. Yeah, like a Vice short documentary about the uh, protests in Haiti. And a lot of it, well, a lot of it was happening on like one side of the country, and then the other side was carnival, and the president <laughs> was at carnival. Oh my god! Wow. And so the, the, one of the vice dudes caught up with him, and he's asking him like, "Yo, the people on like the other side of the country are like rioting and and protesting. Yeah. Like, how do you feel about this?" And he said something to the effect of like, "This is normal. It's normal for this to happen because of change. So when people don't want something to change, this is normal. Something that happens, we'll get through it." It's like, I feel bad for my nation, but this is normal. We should calm down and just uh, uh, let things be as they wow, should. okay. And I'm like, okay. I mean. I mean, decent answer, but. There's like active rioting. Right, active right, right. things happening. And I felt like it wasn't addressed yeah. like, properly. Like that conversation is what happens when you're like, when it, it's not happening yet. And, pe- you know, the, you know, angers and emotions are flaring. President, what do you think we should do about it? Well, uh. You know, something that happens and we'll get through that. Like, that's how that conversation goes. But not when there's active rioting and active, like, fighting going yeah. on. Wow, that's really intense. Right. Right. That so, sounds like something you say if you don't want to deal with it. That's Kinda. exactly that's, what that's it sounds like. That's the inkling like. I felt. Exactly what it sounds like. Exactly um, when it's on that level, mm-hmm. you know. Let me read part of this article. Please Mr. Moyes had led Haiti, one of the poorest nations. This is from the BBC. Okay. .com, which is still awkward to say. Mr. Moyes had led Haiti, <laughs> one of the poorest nations in the world <laughs> since 2017. I don't want to be all sad. We got to throw some levity in That's there. That's fair. That's fair. That's it's fair. been sad since the beginning of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I feel you. Mr. Moyes had led Haiti, one of the poorest nations in the world since 2017, but had faced widespread protests demanding his resignation. The nation's recent history has been played by coups, by coups, political instability, and mm. widespread gang violence. And when I tell you gang violence, gang. I saw gang a video violence. of a, uh, I saw a video of a gunman walk, and this church was live streaming. Gunman walked into a church, uh, pulled um, a lady that was singing and the pastor from the podium at gunpoint, just casually, while it was live streaming. Just kidnapped both of them. Wow, crazy scenes. Wow. Just kidnapped both of them straight out from the live stream. That's insane. Okay. Crazy. I don't know who else they, they kidnapped in there, but it was, That's really it was wild. a wild. They just casually walked up with his AK, like, yo, you coming too? Let's go. Me, let's go. Yeah, simple. Dang, dude. That's crazy. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson tweeted that he was sad and that the, I don't care about what niggas said about this. <laughs> I don't, because it doesn't matter. Oh, his wife, First Lady Martine Moyes, She's injured too, right? Reportedly arrived by plane in Fort Lauderdale, South Florida, for treatment. There's no official word on her condition. See, one this says that she arrived by plane to Fort Lauderdale because they were trying to get her to Miami. Mm-hmm. But another thing said that she died. So there's two conflicting stories here. I'm gonna trust the BBC one and say that she's still alive. Because if anything, no, she she's, from, she's the most important person in this. From the mo- from all the reports I was reading this morning, it was... Um, the inkling was that Joven- she was still alive. Jovenel died. Yeah. And she was injured. Yeah. That's what, I've, that that's what the, I read first. That was the most consistent story, story? that I've seen. Okay. So. All right. Uh, so who'll take control right now is the prime minister. Uh, Mr. Joseph called, which is Mr. Joseph. He's the prime, he's the prime minister. In Haiti's legislation, the prime minister takes... Um, Acts as president when the president is uh, when the presidency is vacant. So, but what's weird is that the president had already appointed a new prime minister, but he hadn't um, inaugurated him yet. 
So technically, he wasn't prime minister. So the old guy still took over. So does prime minister act as like a VP? Kind of. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do they, do, does Haiti have VPs or no? I don't. I think it's just the president and prime minister. I don't know if there's a vice president. Okay, okay. I could be wrong. Don't take any of this information from us. We're not Go do your research. We're not, <laughs> we are not authorities. authorities. You said this in the intro, guys. Let me put on. a whole red Come thing on. here that says research. 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 None of the, don't don't hear nothing from here and take it as truth. Okay, please <laughs> research. Um. So who will take control? Mr. Joseph called the shooting of the president a heinous, inhuman, and barbaric act because it was barbaric. He didn't need to die. It is barbaric. He didn't, he didn't need to die for things. People, to change. Bar- murder in general is barbaric. Like. It just is a sorry. Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Yeah. It. I'm, not, I'm not doing the thing. We, no. <laughs> we stop! I stopped it! I stopped it! I stopped it! Okay, we're done. <laughs> we, everyone knows this. I don't need to say. It. It's fine. I leave it. Alone. No, I didn't do it. Stop it! I didn't do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Um. Uh. I did everything wrong. Mr. Joseph called the shooting of the president a heinous, inhuman, and barbaric act. Saying the attackers were foreigners who spoke English and Spanish. His official languages are Creole and French. Mm. Speaking English and Spanish doesn't. That doesn't, really doesn't say much. It doesn't dude. say much because Those two Haitians, languages are a lot. Like a Haitians lot speak of Spanish people. because yeah, they're right they, next to the DR. Exactly. Because yeah. I think they tried to pull like insinuate that's, that they had a, yeah, that's, a hand in this yeah. or some sort of other Spanish country but had a hand. That's just mm. sensational, uh, like sen- sensational. What's the word? Sensationalization. Sensationalization. Sens- uh, sensationalization. Oh, sensationalizing. Uh, sensationalizing, sensationalizing. Journalizing, jur- journalism or whatever oh okay sensationalizing journalism, journalism. yes okay yeah just to drive sounds like hyperbole to me it, it is yeah. but it's it's there to like engage in the wrong way right propaganda if anything added through yes yeah. exactly yeah. Haiti's ambassadors to u.s bullshit edmond said there was no way U.S. drug agents carried out the attack. He believed it was the work of professional mercenaries. I believe him. Because no regular person is going to pull up on him and do this. But the thing about it is, like, Haiti, historically, when they felt like their backs were against the wall, when they felt like they weren't, um, their voices weren't being heard, they felt like they were being entrapped, they felt like they weren't being represented, someone somewhere did something rash. Mm-hmm. You feel me? We, this isn't the first time they had an attack an attempt on his life. By the way, there was another attempt. I forget what a year, but they had a foiled that attempt on his mm-hmm. life. So he's been in contention for like assassination for a while now. Is just someone finally did the job? Dang. Which I don't know why they're so hell bent on assassinating him. Interesting. I don't know the details of what he did as president because you know yeah. I don't live in Haiti. I don't know I mean, how hard hey, it dude, really is. Hey man, listen, we're right. Asians, if, if, if there are riots going on. <laughs> You know it's bad. Someone hates you. Yeah. You know, like someone's not doing something. That's bad. just the facts. You know, I, I don't know what's happening, but I do know if riots are happening, pl- a, a, enough people right. hate you or don't agree with you. Yeah. And I, frankly, I should say hate if it's at riot level. Cause like, let's be real, man. Trump happened and like, who? He, 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 like Trump. Facts. Trump. Who? He, Facts. It's, it's wild because like he, dude. Who? He, Trump. <laughs> my guy. Duke. The Duke. <laughs> yeah. <Yo. laughs> Like that dude happened, bro. Like we didn't even riot against him. That right, right, really right. didn't even happen. Like we were just like, nah. They rioted for him. You know, like this dude's an average American, frankly. Like yeah. we're, we're mad at him, but we were just like, we're not surprised by him. Right, right, right. We right. completely understand why he happened and we're not surprised by it. And just because we're not surprised by it doesn't mean it's okay. Like yeah, people yeah, rioted yeah. for him because of an imaginary made up anger mm-hmm. that got them to hate certain types of people and minorities so much that they were like, no, we're, we're be our country's being stolen, blah, 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 blah. Damn it. You got me on the politics. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, there. we're in politics right now. Let me finish. But that's what it is. Finish them. Finish Addressing article, the nation, bro. Mr. Joseph, which is the uh, prime minister it's vowed the killers would be brought to justice America. and said the security situation was under control. That's the first thing the prime minister said. He's like, Oh, we got everything. Cool. Everything is put in place you sure for us to control? continue uh, to continue the legislation for the country to continue running. I'm like, is it that though? sounds too. He was too nonchalant in his words. I is think. Is it though? I don't know. The state of emergency or state of siege allows for the banning of uh, allows for the banning of gatherings and use of military for police roles, along with other extensions of, of executive powers. They shut down the airport. Interesting. Wow. Okay. What? Had to. Oh, what? Had to. That's what state of emergency. So anyone, oh, any yeah. U.S. citizen would be stuck in Haiti. Mr. That's Joseph, really the rough. prime minister, said that all measures had been taken to ensure the continuity 
the continuity and that democracy and the republic will win. So, but questions remain about how much control Mr. Joseph can assert. Because if they're not fucking with you, you know what I mean, and th- you know what, this doesn't even give this doesn't give Haiti a, a good look either. It does. How not. are you gonna feel when someone else wants to save the country and yeah, for yeah. some reason you guys get mad, That's really right. and now his life is at stake. He has to leave the country. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. You can't run the country out the country. No, dude. And any American, um, any Americans there, like they can't come home for an indefinite amount of time right yeah, now. Yeah, like yeah. There, there is a state of emergency there. Like they don't know what could happen. A- any tourist from anywhere. Who's, who's there right now can't go anywhere. Okay. They don't know what's going to happen. They don't know how long it's going to be. You know, the dude was just murdered. There's going to be an investigation 100%. for what months, yeah. you know, yeah. like that's a fact. So it's crazy that literally just kind of shut the country down. Basically, dude. Um, Haiti's constitution says ministers under the leadership of the prime minister take control in the event of the presidential vacancy until election has been, can be called, mm. which is going to be a toughie. Yeah. But that also remains unclear as new prime minister, Ariel Henry was named, by Mr. Moyes just this week, but has yet to be sworn in, like I said earlier. The U.S. later said it believed elections should go ahead this year to bring about a peaceful transfer of power. How, Sway? Yeah, what they going to do? Man. How? And of course, the U.S. said it should happen. Oh, man. Come on, man. <laughs> the U.S. has been Haiti's biggest donor for 50 years and also its biggest, like, uh, pain in the ass. Mm. The U.S. has been Haiti's biggest donor for 50 years, but has had fractious relationships with some. Some that's not even a. No, they've just been using them as pawns. <laughs> what do you mean fractious relationships? Come on, man. With some of its rulers and has carried out a number of blockades and interventions. Surprise, surprise. The country has also had strong counter narcotic ties with Haiti to try to prevent South American drugs being shipped through the nation and on the U.S. <sighs> Jeez. On the streets of Port au Prince appeared to be mostly calm on Wednesday because, yeah, they killed the president. There's no nothing yeah. to write about it anymore. Mm-hmm. One resident, Pascal Solange, told the BBC, We are on our cell phones, our radio, our television, waiting for what happens next. Everyone is scared. Oh, man, dude. The neighboring Dominican Republic ordered the immediate closure of the border with Haiti, which they've been, they've been wanting to do that. Dominican Republic do not fuck with Haiti. Mm-hmm. A, lot of, a lot of stressful relationships in that. Damn. Jovenel, 53 years old, young man, had been in power since February 2017. Let me see. Oh, here's what here's the, the issue that he had. Haiti's opposition, which is the person who ran against Jovenel Moise, Haiti's opposition said Mr. Moise's five year term should have ended on 7 February 2021, five years to the day since his predecessor, Michel Martelly, stepped down. Hmm. But there had been a year's delay. To elections after Mr. Martelli's departure, and Mr. Moyes insisted he had one more year to serve as he did not take office until February 7th, 2017. Parliamentary elections should have been held in October 2019, but disputes have delayed them, meaning Mr. Moyes was ruling by decree. In February this year, on the day the opposition wanted him to leave office, Mr. Moyes got killed. So this is the day that he was supposed to leave. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm. What a dink. Yeah. Okay. So, and then gang violence, earthquake, never mm. recovered from that, really. The UN had a peacekeeping force since, like, 2004. They left in 2017. Yeah, a lot's, yeah. a lot's been happening. Man. So, the country's been in turmoil, dude. <laughs> For well over a, a decade. While. Well over a decade. A long while. Yeah. And, I mean, killing, killing the standing president wasn't going to help. That's not going to help at all. It sure has been a peaceful transfer of power. Very tragic. Honestly, I wasn't surprised at this rash um, action because, I mean, history repeats itself. Because I think this is the second president they assassinated. Dang. I think there's another one like 1912 or 1915, one of those, mm-hmm. where they killed another, assassinated another president. I forget uh, why. I'd have to look at and um, do your research. Research. But I don't remember. But yeah, this is, it's sad. Super sad. It doesn't, it's not a good look for our country, man. It's not looking good at all. But. I mean, hey, it, man, is. I, it, it is what it is. You know, I mean, hey, America's had several presidents attempted assassinated true, on, true, assassinations true. on him. So, you know, I'm having like, my dog, A. Lincoln, you know, the, you know, so like it. it John so Wilkes, don't it, miss. <laughs> Jeez. You know, it's, it's it's not a good look, but I, I hope people at least are realistic with assassinations on politicians. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, guys, it's not a good look on Haiti, but please don't keep. Please don't look down on the souls that exist in the country Facts. and who do want life. Yeah, everybody fighting for their life and hate. You know, like, bro, 
a lot like a lot of people forget it's hard to be able to afford a plane ticket to another country legally right and or become a citizen in right, another right. country like it's hard to do that especially so like, now it, you know yeah. especially now so like even it, it, like if you're a family who's near their house and you hear the down the street dude gets murdered and you're like holy crap all right this country's dangerous all right be realistic about the logistics of trying to leave mm. you know like I what does it cost pack my things and left you know like come on dude like you know it's, it's hard to do that it sounds like a uh it sounds like a girl in like a, a dating app she's like <laughs> i just woke up one morning. my biggest <laughs> one of my biggest uh what was it um one of the most spontaneous things I ever did was just pack up and Woke leave Woke up Spain. one morning, <laughs> packed up and left. And left and backpacked through Europe. <laughs> Bitch, shut up. Got out of here. We had a whole podcast on this earlier. <laughs> Victor hates that shit. Victor hates that shit. But yeah, man, rest in peace to... Monsieur Jovenel Moïse. Jovenel Moïse, man. Rest in peace to Jovenel. I'm praying for Haiti for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. We, lot, need, we need some blessings. Yeah, man. We need some blessings. Hopefully, his wife is well and she can chill in the United States for a while. Something, man. Something, so things die down. Because I don't think like she would become president. I don't think the first lady does that. Nah, it's not. It's just prime minister. Yeah. Probably. I don't know if he had any kids. And there's no mention of kids in here. Mm. So I don't know if he had any kids, but it's not looking great. This was something to lift y'all spirits. This has been a very sad 30 minutes. I'm telling you, dude. I swear we have a topic, y'all. I swear we do. Like uh. this one was just near to me, so I had to do it. That's true. That's Here we true. go. Hey, yeah. One day I'm gonna drop some lyrics. Oh, drop some bars nice. on that'd here. That'd be nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're done. I wasn't going to drop the lyrics. So abrupt, my heart. <laughs> my <soul. laughs> so what's the IQ, Dakula? 30 minutes in the IQ <laughs> test for interesting question. It's a question. Fresh off the dome. No one knows. And they have to answer fresh off the dome, fresh off the, the fro. You know Dizzy, what I'm as it were. Man, why don't we just save this topic? Well, let's just save the topic. And, <laughs> and then just. We'll, we'll have a secondary podcast for it. And fine. then just run this episode as a open open time <laughs> i'm actually not opposed, not to, that. opposed to it That's i'm nice. just i mean we're already 30 minutes yeah, I mean, well, why not i agree so ignore the topic to we can today. save this and actually have a guest yeah i, I oh, also I agree, agree to this we, have, we haven't set a topic yet so i mean we're good all right so next week next so week it what's is. the iq buddy hey <laughs> <laughs> this, this could be like the half of our grab bag episode <laughs> there you go <laughs> Yes. Yeah. It's been a heavy two weeks. So the I'll half of us. our grab bag episode. Forgive us. It has been, been a heavy two weeks. We are week. sad men right now. Yeah, man. Oh, it's, but I'll I'll tell you the IQ anyway. Please do. And this I was is, thinking of this because I was oh. thinking about this anime. If you miraculously for some some way some uh, weird thing happened and then you meet Ryuk and you somehow have access to the death <laughs> note. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'm just saying right now. There's. <laughs> If you had access to the Death Note, there's no one I would kill. Who is the first person? There's no one I would kill. What is the first name you would write in there? Uh, listen, the issue. Listen, no, I can't. You can't say that out loud. Just, <laughs> you can't do what? that, bro. Hypothetically, this no. is recording. This recorded, is hypothetically. <laughs> Come on. No, I cannot say. Can't, I can't. Hypothetically, I cannot be judge, jury, and ex- like executioner. However. If you can like, be like Yagami, however, if I do like, I'm I'm not gonna like be stupid. Like in in the, even in a hypothetical, I'm not gonna be stupid. Like if I do have a book that does let me kill, like straight up right. does let me kill, like at a moment's look, like I'm I'm a neutral good person. Mm. Like I would do things that I find are right, and mm. so like you know y'all don't know. What I think is right, but like I don't know, I think I have a, at least a decent compass of like morality. So like you know, if um, so there's nobody that you, in your head you wish was gone. In my head, no, not right now. Oh, I, there's one. There, there is no one who I instantaneously wish Where? just died. Mm. Um, there are, there are people I want to see brought to justice. Um, I don't care about justice in this country. That's fair. I feel you on that. Um, but even you know, with if I was like, yes, Kim Jong, Kim Jong, blah blah blah, 
I haven't researched enough of um, North Korea's struggles yet to know if, yeah, just killing their leader would stop what's happening. Is he influenced by work in Haiti. the marketing team? Is he, you know, what was ha really happening there? I don't know enough yet. So, like, that's the thing. And because it's an ability that can be taken from me, I have to be really careful about that's that. That's what's really scary about Death Note. Like, unlike Code Geass, where he has the ability, it's within right, right, him. Right, right, right. Death Note. If I sleep, oh, look a notebook. You know, literally, I go to sleep, I wake up, it's gone. I never find it again. Period. I lose the ability. Mm. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to be so careful about starting it because I, I would. I know I would think about trying to be like, I could be a paragon of justice, but like, no matter what, like, bro, there's so many very, to me, there's so many variables and is a person worthy of instantly killing? You know, I really got to really, really research what's happening. I don't know everything. I don't just want to go. Yeah, let's just end this previous president of a country that might be the USA's life because I feel like, dude, I, that's is it really worth doing mm. it just because he was being a dumbass for four years like nah it's just to me yeah, yeah, yeah. that's not worth it right, right, I have right. seen other old white dudes who are douchebags right, right, that's right. not worth it yeah, to yeah, me yeah, yeah. so like I would not wish death upon them he is still someone who others do have emotions towards he does have a family yeah, yeah, yeah. he has done things where his money has contributed to some positive things happening. Like it, it's not worth death. The economy. You, I'm with you. You know, I'm with you. I'm with economy. You. you know, it's not Listen. worth death. So there are some people who I do believe are completely truly evil. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I completely believe that. I, I'm like not nah, kill that motherfucker. Like kill yeah, him. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. that guy should die. Yeah, and yeah. so, but they're serial killers and like people I can research, learn about, and be like, why are we wasting taxpayer money? We saw them kill several people. We yeah. know the facts. Why are we even, why is there a timeline of this person's execution? Like, nah, there are literal facts and evidence, facts. complete evidence yeah. against this person being who this person you know is. They're evil. Let's right, end right. their life, save our money. Right, right. Done. But there's also like a million people in the prison system who are there because of like marijuana. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. So free my niggas, man. You free know. Young Jay, and, and whoever like, that is. And like, there are people right now who will be I like, Nah, if I have the death note, I'll kill all criminals. And I'm like, You are so ignorant. Why would you do that? Yeah, that's not smart. Like, you don't understand. What the you prison, know what that reminds me of the prison system has been used for certain reasons, and you can't just. That's not. You know. Sorry. Go yeah. ahead. Oh, that smells like tea. Tea. Maybe it's the mango I just put. Yeah, oh, yeah you probably yeah, just ate it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, high chew, <laughs> really delicious food. You know what you what you just reminded me of when Go you said it. kill all prisoners? Yeah. This is Caleb City sketch where he uh he's playing this dude who has superpowers and he's like, I just solved all the world's problems. And he talked because dude superpowers was like super fast and super strong. He's talking to his friend, and he's like, I just solved all the world's problems. He's like, Okay, what'd you do? It's like I took all the prisoners and I threw them all into the sun. <laughs> like, dude, and like, <laughs> and he's like, "Why did you do that? Why would you do that? So all those people are innocent." Literally, and he's like, "Oh," and he went back and he reconstructed them. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he, "I just put them all back." <laughs> he's like, "Why? Some of those people needed to die. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them needed to go. These also. are murderers." He's like, "Because oh, like, he's like, he's just released all of them." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, These are murderers. Why, Why would you, you release them? Do that? These people are on death row. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> They're literal actual psychos. Yeah, They're gonna kill psychos. everyone now. Like, it's hilarious. You guys, you know? I was talking to you guys later. No, I, I feel you like dude, the, the problem is like everything is such a scale between like dark and light. You yeah, know? Man. You, can't, you can't you can't clear cut it. You can't you do can't. it. You Unlike, just can't like, do it. This is like Dre said. You know. Sorry. What's up, man? Hey dad. Hey mom. I love y'all. Y'all beautiful. What's hey, up, Erica. Man? Erica, we were talking about y'all earlier. Hey, Shovel, we were talking about y'all earlier. We were saying how much we love y'all. Oh, that's fine. Oh, yeah, it's My fault. I didn't turn off the, it's fine. Turn off the thing. My fault, y'all. It's fine. It's not his fault. It's, it's okay. his fault. But like Drake said, I talk great. I don't keep it white and black. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You ever heard that? That's, that's true. That? Drake. That's true. Drake? He's like, I talk great. I don't keep it yeah. white and black. That's oh, man. Sorry. That's on. Um, I'm like, oh, no, there's going to be some like ambient sounds because everyone's going to be opening the fridge and talking and right, saying things right, around right. us for like, a while. Yeah. The microphones are extraordinarily sensitive, so yeah, they're going to pick up like all the sounds. Too bad we can't put like foam things on the air. <laughs> I, I know we're trying to get there, man. We're trying to get there. Be That'd be fire. Oh, you know what? Maybe 
You can. There's um, sound absorbing boards that you can yeah, make. There are. Yeah. Dude, we totally gotta get that. I'm telling you, bro. So you might be in the shot. Listen, bro. That's stupid. He definitely are. She definitely is. She's definitely <laughs> in the video. Yeah, she's definitely going to be in the video. It's a permanent I'll see thing. if I cut you out. It's adorable. Or leave so, you in. We'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, there's only one person who's, who's death I mm, wish. Right. Who are you killing? Yeah, I'm not going to tell. Obviously, I'm not going to incriminate myself. No, I don't do that. Don't you dare. Yeah. Never do that. But there's only one person. Who she's like, like yeah, hey, uh, whisper, whisper, whisper. Who? I heard nothing. <laughs> I heard, right? I heard nothing. No, I agree. That's yeah. okay. Yeah, I've been thriving too much. Dude's a sc- <laughs> scumbag. Dude's been, been thriving scumbag. too much. I don't like him either, I'll honestly. You. No, you have to tell me that. I've been thriving too much. So, yeah, you gotta go. <clears throat> That's the only person, really. But I wouldn't Boy, do I sure am thirsty. Do you have any. <laughs> <laughs> Tea, perhaps? <laughs> Don't give it away. <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't I give don't, it away. No, no, I won't. I won't incriminate you like that. Yeah, I don't incriminate me. Oh man. I'll, I'll do the second one. I had a second RQ. Please, okay. please. This one maybe maybe uh, a little bit better. What's a book that you were forced to read in high school that you still reference to this day? Um, mm-hmm. I'm trying to make a point with this one. Like mm-hmm. a, like a, an assignment book or something I like a voluntarily book. read in high like school. Like a book like the Scarlet Letter. Fuck no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you see, you see how long it's taking y'all boys. Hell no. <laughs> I'm trying to say that shit was useless. <laughs> well, first of all, because I, I ne- remember more books from college. First of all, I never read any of the books that was assigned to me. Me neither. I will say, um, as an English major, like, uh, as an English. <laughs> I will say, l- l- let me not answer. Th- oh wait, no, hold on. Hold on. Okay, this goes into the first question. What bo- okay, what books were we assigned to read? Period. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and like preface my uh, entire Scarlet pod- Letter, yeah, go, yeah, go Jane with, Eyre, go with what you were forced uh, with. Things fall apart. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I'm going to say the ones I re- remember the most and that affected me and that like have helped shape what I believe. Okay. Okay. Native Son by what's his name? James Baldwin. Never Alan? heard of that. James Baldwin is out. Native Son. So it's a We'll go on later. Um, Native Son, mm-hmm. Brave New World, okay. the Maximum Ride series. Oh, true. Well, that, was, well, that wasn't assigned. But I wasn't really assigned. Yeah, that was. James Patterson was just there and somehow me, had the contract with the to schools. To me, in my brain, it felt assigned, and I read it wasn't all of a, them. It wasn't assigned. I was. I was. It listen, I was about to say Maximum Ride too, but I, I wasn't assigned. I did it. Um, I read. Trust me. It. I read. I read all the books. It I was have. So good. I loved them. I have every manga. And they, they the manga. Yeah, exactly. The manga too, dude. Like. So th- those were like three that really affected me. Where I'm not going to. They be, don't count. Yeah, I'm sorry, they don't count. But it's not a sign. Uh, it's not. Shut up. That's a fact. Whatever. He's right. I'm, I feel you. So what, <laughs> I'll, I'll go with what was assigned. Yeah. And was for assigned. me, two books that were assigned was Brave New World and Native Son. And Brave New World was a, one of the really great like dystopian future type of stories. And mm. the Native Son was a black kid who, like, father and mother were going through traumatic things. He gets hired to be like a limousine driver. Interesting. Um, deals with, and he's hired as a limousine driver for like this really rich white white family, of basically. Of course. And so it's Classic. like during, um, you know, I don't know, like seventies, eighties, maybe, maybe sixties, seventy, eighties, maybe. But hella racism because America. Yeah, yeah facts. But like duh. <laughs> so he he does this. Does he's with the limousine driver. <clears throat> he's with the daughter one night. Like climax of the story. He's with the daughter one night, and he's not he's not with it. He's a limousine driver. She gets to the limousine, drunk as heck, and um, in trying to get up the stairs, like he, she's like blackout drunk, so she's like, ah, ah, like flopping around. Word. He gets her to the bed, and she, I can't explain, explain the whole thing, but she, she suffocates and like dies. She, she suffocates, and he's like, oh my god, oh, they die. they're gonna blame me. Oh my yeah, god, yeah, what do yeah, I do? Yeah. Of course. I have to get rid of the body. How do I get rid of the body? I'm in their house. I'll oh they have a furnace. I'll try and get rid of the body. Burn her by burning the body. Incinerating her. Incinerating the body. Smart. Not at all. And so he does I mean, that. Well, not at all. He tries. He throws the body in there. It does burn the whole thing. But if it's hot enough, the bones are left in. Yeah, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. If it's a furnace, if it's hot enough, the bones will also just not to mention but the smoke. Didn't. It's going to emit. But they did precisely. And so this, the bones didn't. It wasn't hot enough. And because he didn't know about. 
with thermodynamics. Yeah, yeah, you, know, science, right. know. Right. you know about science. science. So he like throws it in there, the skin melts away, but there's literally the bones of the girl in there. Sheesh. And so the detectives are like searching everything. For like a week goes by, they're searching everything. Then they finally go search the house itself and they go through the furnace and they find the bones of the girl and they're like, oh my God. Who could have done this? Only someone close to her who had time with her, who specifically that night would have been with her when she was drunk and on a trip. My God, was the limo driver. Mm. It must have been. Dun, dun, dun. You know, but it, they actually didn't even blame him yet. He oh, wow. freaked out and thought they did, so he bolted out of the room. Mm. And so he thought that it was that because so, he, he was in the room when they yeah, were looking yeah, yeah. for it. So he bolted out of the room because he thought that they were. So he kind of incriminated himself. He a little incriminated bit. himself. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. because just just. But what, I don't blame him because right? in because that that's time what America period, at the time was, yeah. and so he and it, it, the books the narrator speaks to his mind during the process and it speaks mm. to the facts of like America. He's like, yeah, he hit this blah blah blah. He didn't know about the the temperature of it. He didn't think about the fact that they wouldn't have just gone right after him. He did, he literally didn't know the steps that were going to occur. Right. Freaked out, incriminated himself, ran off. Sheesh. And so there's a huge chase for him. They chased after him. They shoot him. He dies. Dang. I hated the book <laughs> when I was younger. All that to say he hated the book. I despised it when I was younger because I was like, this is a horrible story. Why am I reading about a black person dying? I hate to this. To be fair, they assigned a lot of weird books. Now, I will say, however... As I grew up and I read it, I understood that it was an extreme d- deep dive into the reality of the Amer- American systems in place that people just cannot get out of. Because he, he also like... Is that something you should be telling the 16 year old kids? No. I feel like that should be a college I, I, book. I feel like it should be a college book, but like, yeah. no, nah, that's what he read. And like, it goes through where he like rapes his girlfriend because... He goes through like an an emotional break or whatever with his parents and blah, blah, blah. And he like leaves like the home or whatever. So he like kind of forcefully like has sex with his girlfriend and like he like tries to escape with her. But she's like, I don't know. This is why I can't do this. And he's like, fine, I'll leave without you. So he like leaves without her. This is a black guy? Yeah, it's a black guy. So he, you know, he's doing all these things, but it's trying to explain that like, dude, he he was trying to find a way out and the system that he was in made sure that it was not possible for him to find a way out. Mm. You know, and like when he did these decisions that like as a reader, you're going to be disgusted at him for making them. In reality, you you understand why he made them. You understand the trauma that his parents dealt with. You understand that the the trauma that was passed down to him, the aspects of loyalty and maternity and fraternity that were passed down right, to him right, right, that right. he believes is man and woman and like like he's about to go on the run for being an actual criminal for actually burning the body of this person yeah he may not have killed her but he definitely burned the body burned the body you know so he's, he's definitely a criminal right now and he runs off and like finds a girlfriend and like dude like no that's not okay you can't just yeah, yeah. bring your girlfriend into like but society and Aspects of society forced him to feel that way. Jeez, and so dude. like you know, now looking back on it, I understand what it was trying to teach. And I like Wikipedia it, read it again, like looked at the book. But it was the like, thing it was is, powerful. What, what I'm trying to say is that you should have known that at like 16. You can't know that. Like, There's I'll, no way. Unless someone tell. So uh, an example I've been like using in the past like few months, if like whatever talked about, if no one ever shows you $100,000. You'll never know. You'll that never you know how to or, use it or, yeah. how, or know like what to do with yeah, it. You'll yeah. never know like what it feels like to have that power and like what to be like, yeah, I just want to eat wherever I want. And mm-hmm. it doesn't affect how much money right, you right, have. Right. You know, so like <clears throat> if no one told him about options to get out of the system, yeah. how, how is he gonna could know? he know? How will he know? Literally. And, you know, a lot of um, the arguments from people who talk about like ghettos or minorities in ghettos and like why can't they pull <laughs> themselves up by the books, bootstraps. Literally, if no one tells them what the path, no one tells them, no one tells their parents, are, no one tells their grandparents. If no one told them, like, how can they get out? The Literally. lack of education started. Yeah. If no one told you, hey, you can open up a bar or a restaurant or this company, you can be an entrepreneur at this cost, you can save up, right. do these loans, get this grants, do this business degree, yeah. blah, 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 blah. You can do this and then you can get a job. You can set up a business right. down the street over there, um, set up the aesthetic of your business. The property value goes up. Other companies will now have to step up their value because your value is so high. 
that plaza now goes up. The area around goes up. Other plazas now. But there is a process to it, but no one has no one, ever no taught us that you. process. Right. How can we access that process if yeah. no one told us it's possible? And you know, we're all products of our environment. Absolutely. So if you're somewhere where that education doesn't exist or where that yeah. education you know, isn't enforced. How can you expect it to know? be there? Exactly. How could you be better? If entrepreneurship isn't taught in the schools and has been taught because it's not part of the core curriculum, how can you expect there to be entrepreneurs in the you know, lower income Impossible. It's not possible. The, the you know, only, sorry, um, I should say improbable. Improbable is Because, right. yeah. you know, it's thanks to social media, we can yeah. now learn. But... But then we, we see over generations how it frankly was kind of impossible you know, before. Because, but now media. look how, we, but now how we're uh, look how we're pigeonholed right into sports. Yeah. Ex- play basketball, play, play football, play sports, play this or make music, or make music for its decades. Get that out was, the mud, get out know, of the hood. That was what they taught. Come on. Our yeah, kids. that's how it. Sports that's how or music. See a lot of the times. Yeah, man. It was just a lack of of uh, access to resources. So. Exactly. Um, a couple of books that I remember that I don't think really really should have been reading. Like uh, Mice and Men, kind of a heavy book. Not sure why oh, you're yeah. reading that one. Yeah. To Kill a Mockingbird wasn't that bad, but also kind of heavy. No idea who, who okayed these. What, How do so, you okay books that so, like. So, people, really quick, why, or not why? Wh- when do you think these heavier topics should be addressed to kids then? High school, middle school, college? College, for sure. College. When they understand it better. Not high school? Not really. High, I mean, there should be a different set of books. Okay. I don't think these things about a less extreme because of my some men. You had a dude who was who, who was one man, and then like was that his brother? I, I was his brother who was a special person? I friend, friend, or brother ends up killing the lady, and then have the bullet put a bullet in his spoiler. head. <laughs> you no know, spoiler! You should have read this already. <laughs> like, if you listen this, to this podcast, bro, you should have heard about this Like already. I said, I didn't read a single assigned this is book. Stupid. I didn't read a single assigned book when I was in school. Yeah, man. I just uh, cliff noted everything. <laughs> yeah, same. Nah, no, dude, same. Spark notes. Spark notes. Spark notes. I was Spartan listen. Notes. I was good enough to uh, <laughs> fluff and BS my way through every book report or whatever yeah, paper yeah. I had to write. Bless. Yeah. <clears throat> Super well, facts. There, there was this one th- thing that really got me sweating. It was in AP Lit, AP Literature. Mm-hmm. Wait, who? With uh, McManus. Okay. Oh man. I didn't have her. Uh, <laughs> there is. We had a, it was like it was like a always. pseudo book club that he would do instead of like book reports and yeah, essays, yeah, yeah, yeah. where yeah, yeah. we would sit around in class and actually discuss what happened in the book. Oh god. Oh man. And <clears throat> you were graded based on like your participation, right? Your understanding of the book mm-hmm. or the section you had to read. Dang, dude. And your. I feel you. I feel you. And um. I don't like that participation I, I, discussion and like your reasoning for your whatever. I did that in college. Ooh. See that that was I, I was like, damn, strong. I can't I can't BS my way through a yeah, book. Yeah, you yeah. really gotta uh, describe what art is happening. Yeah. And that why was, you're you thinking read, what you're thinking. That, well, that was the closest I had. That was the closest I've ever been to where I had to to read the book. I I, <laughs> the I skimmed. <laughs> like the beginning of the section, the end of the section, oh, yeah. and then yeah. I like put it together with cliff notes, and then mm. I'm like, I, you know, you honestly, know crazy. all that shit you did not no, to I was read the say, book. I was gonna say, honestly, if I just put in this effort to just <laughs> read the actual book, book <laughs> it would have been easier. Instead of, I, I, I don't know, it'd have been so much easier just oh, to read God. the book. Yes, dude, like <laughs> it's funny though. It's that's what you're saying is so hilarious because that's what we do. Yeah. If I listen, if I just put in the effort, because we don't think about it that way though, yeah. especially students, because reading sounds so tedious because we don't read that much anymore. Yeah. Reading sounds so tedious and time consuming exactly. that we find we waste time going around the reading, the reading, and it takes longer to go around the reading than to just read. Absolutely. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. If hundred uh, percent, I think Miss, that. If Mr. McManus ever sees this, I'm sorry. We love you. We love you. Thank you for what you did. But um. Honestly, I I really enjoyed myself. Yeah, wor- working my way around the, the fucking reading assignment just to be it's innovative, bro. Just, That's what you're good at. Just to oh, BS, man. just to BS my way through those book discussions. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I walked away with those book discussions without anything less than a B. Simple, All right? bro. Hey, victory. Easy, I, victory. Easy claps. It's a victory. We call, we call that a W around here, bro. Easy, easy claps, bro. <laughs> call that a W around here, bro. We win. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is just like play devil's advocate. Someone would make like oh, a easy. really, really good, like well thought yeah, out yeah, argument, yeah. and then like, I was well. like, 
And, and then I was like, but yeah, <laughs> but what about but this? What about though? this? Yeah. <laughs> what about this? Though? Yeah. I can't, dude. I'm with you, dude. It's so much easier to just go around because I mean, I'm bachelor's in English, dude. I had to read a lot of shit I didn't want to read. A lot of old There's stuff. There's a lot of old, oh. dry, dry not a, not that pieces I say of this. literature, mm-hmm. dude. So, The Green Knight is coming out, that movie. I'm yeah. excited for that. Yeah. And, I, yeah. and because it's coming, I only know, I only know, I'm only going to watch it. Watch. I'm only going to watch it because I read Sir Gawain in The Green Knight. <laughs> exactly. When I was in college. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's the only reason I know I'm, about I'm that movie. I'm excited about it, bro. I'm and right. I kind of want to read it back again. I'm actually really excited. To I want to read it again because I, I can't remember exactly what happened. Me neither. When yeah. I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, this is flame sauce. Dude, the visuals of it look beautiful. Great. Outfits, casting, the, the, the color of the people, like yeah. the diversity of the cast, the, the how the outfits of the villains, the heroes. I don't know if they're villains or heroes. Protagonists, antagonists, yeah, yeah, yeah. characters. Hopefully they don't fuck it up. I pray not. Like an in my Shyamalan. But I'm thinking what I really want to see is like a Don Quixote. I don't know if you guys have read Don Quixote. Teach me. Don Quixote. All right. Let me I see didn't read I could- anything, so. Really, basically, Don Quixote. I know, I know, I know Don Quixote though. I know, right. I know. For Trey, Teach really, me. basically, Don Quixote is about this dude who, in his head, thinks he's like a valiant knight. Knight. Yep. And he goes around. Is there like, a windmill somewhere in there? Yes. yes. Oh my God! I've seen artwork for it. Yes. Um. And very someone, famous. Someone told very, me. Very, very famous. Very, very famous. Yeah. Someone told me um the story of Don Quixote. Yeah, this thing is crazy. Because of artwork for it. Yeah, I really want to see a Don Quixote. I gotta reread Don Quixote too. There was a movie, yeah, with um, what's that actor's name? I forget. Vin Diesel. <laughs> Family. Family. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, those fuck, <laughs> those F nine me those those Fast Furious memes killed Hilarious. me this this past weekend. Did you guys see anybody see Fast Furious? Not no, yet. I, I was. I, I, saw I forgot it came out. I, I was gonna see it. Uh, was it July third? Right. Was that like at, the pre screening? Uh, or did it, when it came did it on come Friday out? the second. Oh, the second. Okay, never mind. I was gonna see it July third, the Saturday night mm-hmm. at the IPIC. Oh, nice. But That'd have been fun. All fifteen show times were sold out. Jesus. So I was like, eh, all right. I'll that's just, crazy. I'll just go get drunk, and that's when you that's came I, to beg for yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's crazy. That's probably one of my favorite Fast Furious movies. Was it that? It was so fun, dude. So much Gee. fun to watch. Dude, I gotta watch the, it now. The thing is, a lot, uh, I told some of my homies, and they're like, oh, I was trash, this is this, oh, this and that. I'm like, why are y'all looking for plot in Fast Yeah, you can't, go you, in, you can't go into these movies taking it seriously. seriously. It's the same thing I say about like the Godzilla movies or like the Transformer movies. Like, you gotta go in there the with a good time. Yeah. Go, you're going in there for entertainment, entertainment purposes. Purposely. If you're, if you're going in there looking for a plot, I, yeah, I think they, I think they, uh, Foolish. you probably watch porn for the plot too. <laughs> <laughs> I think Fast Nine broke a billion already. Not that shit is so much fun, dude. When I was Bro, watching that, like, that's worry cool. about freaking so sales. the people in there. Oh, Yo, man. I will. When you what's it family. called? There was videos at um uh, uh, on YouTube on my algorithm of like promo videos of whatever. But dude, people are shitting all over John Cena, bro. Oh my god! Really? Like I don't act, know why oh, though. Because acting or like... no, not because of the act. Because he like bended the knee to China because he there was during um what's it called what, the pre screening or something? Not or? the pre screen, like the marketing. There, yeah. the prior marketing. Okay. He did that. Mistake that I you do even, online. I, I read about it, but I didn't what know what he, he did. Yeah, what did he do? He I hear about that. he more or less acknowledged Taiwan. Oh, as, as an a, as actual, a, as a separate. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, China's been going crazy, crazy yeah, with that. They're shit mad lately. about that a lot. No, like, like people get blacklisted yeah. just <sighs> just for not mentioning, thinking, hinting to that Taiwan is a separate entity from China. Because China considers them a yeah, and then, owned like And then territory. obviously, in order for the movie to do well. In I'll, China. You have to be. Because China's the biggest yeah, market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah massive yeah, yeah. market. A lot of the cast had to. Align themselves to what China the knee was to, Damn, dude. That's okay. crazy. I mean, I don't care about that. I like the movie. It was pretty no, wild. I mean, I, yeah, the movie. I mean, John, see, he did what he had to do to get his bread, to be honest. That's pretty wild. Yeah. That's, that's going to mess up with his bread. But I think it was a good movie. I liked it. It was fun. I will see it again, actually. Fuck. 
fuck. Okay, I gotta see. I'll check that out. Yeah, I check it out. I gotta see. I was hoping. Listen, when you watch it, you'll you'll be like, oh my gosh. I was hoping. I was hoping. What's it called? I was hoping it was it was it would still get caught into like COVID mode and would come out on the yeah, yeah, streaming no platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it would come out on the streaming platforms the same day as well. Yeah, yeah. I would I, I wish that happened. There's too many people at the movies, dude. I'm like, I miss COVID. I have to <laughs> sit next to somebody, bro. <laughs> I'm like, this is horrific. That's oh, why that reminds me. Bro, we're watching the movie and I guess the role uh behind me, someone had taken some other person's seat and then like two people pulled up, like, yo, you're in my seat. And they're like, no, we're in this seat. And I guess they had like the same ticket or something, and they oh, were shoot. arguing behind us while the movie was going. We're fighting. We're it's, fighting. Like, it's like it's like <laughs> these three Stone. white women. Oh Jesus oh, Christ! The and they're like f- super caring, by the oh, way. Oh no! She's like, I didn't see the manager. It's like all these people <laughs> need their money back because you're causing a ruckus while the movie's going. I'm like, you're causing a ruckus like, while just the movie's sit down going. Somewhere, like, figure it out, man. There's plenty of other seats, most likely. Just like, sit figure down. it the fuck out. And I was so mad, bro. I'm like, God, I hate these niggas. Why are they here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why is it not still closed? I should have rented this shit bro, for ninety nine dollars, bro. Yeah, that's why I wanted to go to the iPick just so I could have my uh, own pod. Yeah, dude. man. Just leave I me the been fuck to that alone. Get, oh I pick it, I've it's not nice. been to one yeah. either. Yeah, I gotta check it out. I might go see. Um, you get like you get like our seats are literally this far apart. I've been yeah. to IMAX, get, not IMAX. You get a pick. table here. Yeah, that's you nice. get free blankets, free yeah. pop, free popcorn. That's amazing. Yeah. Refillable popcorn. They come to you. Oh you can, yeah, you That's can call good. a waiter yeah. for drinks, actual food. Yeah, and That's you get amazing. and you get a little pod like this that closes over you. The luxury. That's and sick. then the other pods are like six feet away. Down yonder and in, in D Ray. Yeah. I yo yeah. yo. But the cooler we going? We out. Yeah, the that problem. Sounds beautiful. I might just, go see a Black Widow than that. I would I'm just that. saying you should get your tickets early because them them should sell out a lot. Oh, where? I feel you. Quick because again, they're these are yeah, pods, small. so there's not a yeah, lot of seats to begin with. Okay. I might, I might go ahead and get right, a Black Widow ticket. It is sure. also like twenty six to thirty dollars. That's yeah, fine. It's no, that's, that's it's cool. not. It's not a movie theater you go to. That sounds worth it. Often, right, but right, it's right. always it's it's very nice. Look, it's expected. I, I will say to me that sounds like what I've always thought movie tickets were going to be because of the experience and like amount of human ingenuity that has to happen for a theater to exist. To run, yeah, literally. So I always thought it was going to be like thirty bucks to go to, to theaters when I grew up, and I was like, wait, it's like ten bucks. What you mean? Is that cheap? We yeah. we just go whenever we want. That's amazing. Yeah. So like now, I pick is doing. It. I'm just like this is what I expected it to be. I mean, it's like I'm 15 not even now sad. on the weekend. That's but, crazy. You know. I mean, yeah. When we were younger, we weren't using the movie theaters to watch a movie. Yeah. No, that's big facts. Also, <laughs> I <laughs> was. What are y'all niggas talking about? <laughs> oh. Oh uh, yeah. So end of the show. How do we play the? Uh, we're Real watching. Quick, okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Watching movies. Honestly. Right, like, hold on. <laughs> we're watching movies. Yes. This, so this is one thing that I was. I've oh been like. You niggas. <laughs> this is one thing. <laughs> so there's this one thing um, that I've been like, I've listened to my podcasts and they've been talking about it. Uh-huh. There's this lady Aliens. who, um, you guys may have heard it, but there's this woman who was in a relationship with a dude who was like really wealthy. He had like a lot of money. I think he owned like clubs or something like that. Okay. And he had, and uh, they were dating and they, no, he was, uh, she was his girlfriend. And mm-hmm. he had like elevated her life. Like she had her own sure, like sure. luxury apartment, yada yada yada. She had a like a Mercedes. She had money. Like she was booming. And then they broke up. Okay. But she refused to leave the apartment. She refused to give back the the car and everything. And her reasoning was that because I dated you and you elevated me to this, you know, top tier life. You can't take away this you way can't of life. Take the way of this way of life from me all willy nilly just because we broke up. Like I need, she's like I need like a buffer time yeah. to find someone that, else. That has happened a lot to um, a lot of celebrities actually, which is crazy to me. But well, these are regular people. This is a this dumb, is, this this is the rich, dumbest bullshit I've ever. In my head, I'm like, stupid. what is this dizzy bitch talking about? Oh my God. <laughs> you out of your mind? Because the elevation, <laughs> bro, this is the dumbest mm, bullshit I've ever. The elevation mm. came with me. Mm. Why I'm gone? It's coming with me. <laughs> I don't understand why. It's, like her, her thinking is horrible. Cause I think she had a conversation with like Kevin Samuels too. <laughs> wow. And he's like, if you have access to all of his things, all of his money, all of his, his apartment, his Kevin car, Samuels. everything's in his name. Jeez. If you have access to that, does that mean he has access to you all the time? And she's like, no, he can't. I'm like, but, but the, he's doing all this stuff. He's paying all this stuff for you. Why would you? Kevin Samuels. Is, Kevin Samuels is hilarious, dude. Jesus Christ. But I have no idea what she's thinking, bro. That is insane. 
Couldn't be me. Even if I had the bread, you out. Because if we don't work out, your life ain't working out. She's like, you can't just bring me back down. I'm like, yeah, you can. Because when when you were me, now you hire. Mm-hmm. Am faded. <laughs> but then once I'm gone, you back down to the bottom. You feel me? So I don't know. I thought that was I thought that was funny. No, that's the dumbest bullshit I've ever. Yeah, it's stupid. It's the, it's, wild, it's the same principle. It's the same principle where like that judge ruling for the rapist Brock Turner. Mm, indeed. Oh god! Indeed. Oh, you can't throw guy. him in jail. He's a good boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah he's gonna mess up his life. Yeah. Shut the fuck Bro, up. Yeah. The dumbest. Shut yeah, the dumbest fuck up. Dumbest Some crazy crap, shit, dude. This no, girl I, is out of, she's off a rocker for sure. I, dude, that dude's name is forever the rapist. The rapist, Brock, Brock Turner, Turner, bro. That's, I don't like, remember his name until you said uh, it. <laughs> oh, that one rapist, yeah, that one white guy. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. I feel, you, I feel. You. But yeah, I thought, I thought she was so crazy stupid. as hell, dude. I, I hate hearing shit like that. Yeah. I mean, shut, same, shut same. up, dude. That's stupid. And that's just, uh, that's just pretty privilege. That is, oof. That's privilege. It's pretty privilege because a lot of girls who think that they're beautiful that they'll get by with just looks and body. That's that's how they be thinking sometimes. Yep. They be thinking that it's cool. They know that that will happen in yeah. court. They know that that will happen. And in I court. think she said like if, they, if she was gonna be forced out, she would like ruin the house, mess up the car, <laughs> this and that. She's like, don't give me that when I break all your shit. I'm like, what kind this of, woman's threatening me right now. Why are we like, allowing this to occur? Yeah. First of all, I'm 100 percent calling the police. Get you out my crib. Second of and, all, and I'm getting a, a, a restraining, restraining order. order. Yeah. <laughs> Third of all, you think I'm stupid, bitch? I got insurance. Go ahead. Family, go ahead. Go give ahead. Give me more money. Yeah. Pay me right back out. Yeah, it was. It's oh, the craziest yeah. shit I've ever heard, bro. Oh my gosh, this is why I'm in middle class. <laughs> I don't have to deal oh with this stuff. <laughs> Women just leave me. Just just, like, you, you deal with this shit in middle class too. What are you talking about? Nah, not me. I don't deal with none of that. Yeah, wait, wait you till maybe. Someone, I wait deal with reputable keys people. Wait till someone keys your car, bro. Bro, Ooh. I deal with reputable people. Have I ever had a bad breakup where someone was like threatening me? I have not personally. No. Nah. I don't really deal with, with people like that. Uh, but then again, you never know if someone's like that until the time comes. Victus, I'm sorry you've dealt with that. I hope your car has not been scratched. No, well, no have you? Nothing in the car, luckily. But she oh. she do she do a punch? Hmm? She do she do a punch? You've been hit? You want, you want to talk attacked? about it? You've been attacked, bro? You want to? It's yeah. okay. This in is, the past. This is a safe space. About. Okay. This is a safe space. You sure? <laughs> this is, it's been a safe space all, all episodes. Listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I've been with some ratchet ass girls. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. that would be like that, man. it would be like that. I think fair. we all have to have a face. <clears throat> not me, though. I've never had that face. Oh, my God. I've been a very reputable woman. Reputable <laughs> Of whom respected me and I respect. Well, Hella questionable, my guy. One time. Okay, okay. Two times. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All, all time. Two times. Right. Two times. Two times. Only two. Oh, only two. That only sounds two. like two. But it wasn't more even that bad. It wasn't as bad as Victus. No, no. Okay. I don't. Mm, it wasn't no. as bad. It would have been pretty bad. I don't think it would have been as bad, to be honest. <laughs> no, because you know, you 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 mm. different. You like you like different things. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry if this episode didn't really go anywhere. This is we feeling, we feeling now, but I feel, I feel a little better now. Good, see. Now that we did the that, was a, that was, that was, the point. Yeah. Keep it open topic. Just yeah, man. I feel a little better. Get now. shit off your chest. Yeah, man, for sure. My chest is open now. Oh, I can oh, breathe better. Hot, hot. If you like this, you know this episode or this type of part, because I was thinking about. Um, Let us know. We'll do more. Yeah, I was thinking about do more contemporary stuff. Grab bag stuff. Yeah, grab bag stuff. Because there's a lot going on in the road, and I feel like. I have some thoughts that I'd like to get out. Now, no one cares about my thoughts. I'm a regular guy. I do. But I care. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. No one cares about our thoughts. We're regular people. Mother. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. But, you know, we have podcasts, <laughs> content, all that jazz. Subscribe to our YouTube. I'm going to have all of our stuff on the bottom here because I figured out how to do that now. Cheers. It's going to be Spotify, SoundCloud, um, uh, uh, Apple Podcasts. Cheese. And I think there's one more. I think it was Google Play Podcasts. But yeah. Subscribe to our stuff. Uh, follow us on the socials. All a lot about pod. No longer have a TikTok. I really don't like how they do stuff. And I saw a video where they weren't really supporting black people. Yeah. So I cut that out. It's gone. What? We have no TikTok. It's stupid. I did it for followers and see if we get more rep- more people. It, uh, it bro, do stupid. it for the culture, man. It's dumb as fuck. Good. You do what you TikTok's do. gone. But everything else is good. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that. I do a lot about pod. Subscribe to YouTube. A lot about another podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace, 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 peace. Johnny. Johnny. Johnny.